everyone. It's been a long time, like I always say in all my videos, but I have revamped my room, got a new table, got a new light. I have been determined to be on YouTube this time. I was just kind of in a phase where kind of figuring out what I wanted to do with my life and I think everybody should take some time off to definitely know what they're doing. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've seen I'm um, partnering up with Ruma um, on Instagram to create our own little lookbook, style book, whatever you want to call it. It's called V Day Amuri. Uh, I'll post it down below too so you can follow us, support us. And um, definitely keep an eye out. We, I've been working on a few other things. I've been emceeing for fashion shows. So I've kind of learned what my niche is and what I like to do. But this video has been requested by so many of you guys ever since I kind of leaked that I was gonna start on YouTube again. It's my updated foundation routine. So as you see, I already have my eye makeup done. Oop, I got that taken care of, but Right now, my favorite has been Born This Way by Too Faced. Totally love it, medium coverage. It You can build, it's very buildable. So let me get right into it. I'm using my Beauty Blender. Um, I put, I put, I put this Arada Rose Hip Oil. Um, I was reading a lot about Rose Hip and how it's even skin tone out. And so I kind of put this on maybe an hour actually before I even started putting my eye makeup on. So. It's been on for like quite a while now, just to soak in. I have dry skin, so I need it. Um, it's 100% pure organic, and I've there's so much. I got this on Amazon. If you guys want, I'll put the link down below where you can get it from. It's about like 12 bucks. I've really noticed a lot. I mean, after I feel like after you use something on your skin, then you notice it right away, and then after that, you don't. And that's the sucks, sucky part of it, I guess. So then you keep tricking yourself into buying new products, and then you see a result, and then that's it, and then you see it. So yeah. Anyway, so I've noticed that it definitely hydrated my skin. It gave me even skin tone and a glow, but right now I'm starting to kind of, like I said, I feel like it's not working anymore. That's the skin, but I'm gonna continue to use it. Secondly, um, I bought this is really cheap. I think it's like three bucks. It's ELF's face primer. The reason I like this one is it has little glitter in, yeah, it has glitter in, um, the reason I like this is because it has glitter and shine. So I mix this with my primer. And my primer, I actually got to try it on my Ipsy bag a while back. I don't have an Ipsy bag anymore. I kind of use that money to buy products. So um, this one is Misha, I love it, love it. It's smooth, it's thick, and it has SPF 42, so it's perfect. Sometimes I'll just throw this on without even putting foundation on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna take this, and I'm kinda gonna mix it too. And I'll show you. So I like to just kind of dot on my fingertips, all right? And I'm going to put it on three fingertips. And right now I'm only putting it on these two. What I'm going to do, I'm going to open up my primer. And then I'm going to put one pump of that on one finger. So it's kind of like, and then I'm going to mix. So it's like, boop, boop, boop. I always make sound effects. That's just me, guys. So I'm going to mix them with my fingertips. And now I'm going to apply this. And you'll see, look, it already kind of changes my skin tone to even it out and that's what I really like and it's so smooth like so smooth a little bit dewy but um it definitely goes right into my skin it hydrates and I have really dry skin so I need it all right so you guys tell me what do you guys been up to how's life what videos do you guys want to see from me all right, so I've applied this all over. I'm sure right when I put it on, you can see a big difference. Definitely changed the color. Last, I'm gonna take my foundation that I'm in love with, Too Faced. Um, I definitely like the packaging. I was sold by this, by the way, because it almost looks like Armani's, but it's not. A little cheaper than that. Um, and I'm gonna apply this on my beauty blender. I try to do two pumps if I'm like really trying to look caked up and glam and flawless, but if I'm going for kind of a uh, simple look, I'll just do one pump. But today, for the sake of this video, I'll be flawless. So I'm just gonna dot, 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 whoop, dot, dot away. 
and then I roll in rolling motion kind of and, and dabbing but mainly rolling because the thing is, is if you watch Katie Johnson's video she talked about how when you roll it um, it actually goes into your pores and that way it creates more of a flawless look so always always a kind of interchange into dabbing and rolling So now I'm going to take my last pump Ooh. and you can just see flawless. Oh my god, I almost got it on my shirt. It's the only downside. Sometimes using a beauty blender, drippy drips. <laughs> I already feel like I'm flawless. Question for all you: Do you who do you guys prefer using a beauty blender to put your foundation on, or do you guys prefer um, just using a brush, a buffering brush to apply your foundation? Because I've been debating on what I like better and what sets in better. So you guys tell me what do you guys prefer and why do you prefer it? So one thing I really like about this is that, see on my face, you can see my veins a lot. I'm like very veiny, so you can see it everywhere. But what I like about it is that it definitely hides my veins. Like I just applied it on top of my eyebrows, or under my eyebrows, on my, on my bone. And it definitely just hid all the veins that were there, that were sticking out. Any redness, everything, just gone. Two pumps, and I feel flawless. Now, I usually don't set my foundation with any setting powder, but if you have oily skin, definitely do your normal routine, set your foundation with powder. I definitely recommend that for oily skin. So I'm just gonna let this, I, I wait for this to set in, and then after that, like I give it like five minutes, I start to contour. But I'm gonna film another video on contour very soon on how I do it. I definitely go all out on those days where we're going like weddings or something, a grand event. If it's not something grand, I'm a very simple person. I don't go all out. I literally just take a brush and some blush and I put that on. <laughs> I may look like I do like a full contour, cream contour. No, I don't do any of that on a normal basis. I literally just, powder is my friend. Bronzer, blush, and that's it. I don't do my whole cream contour palette. All the time. Here are some concealers that I like to pair up with my foundation. Um, one is the MAC MC20 Studio Finish Concealer and I just like how creamy it is and one thing I always get is the wrinkles. They always fill up in my wrinkles and I don't know how to get away from it. If you guys have a secret let me know but I've seen stuff online it doesn't work like it just doesn't work for me so what I have to do is I end up just smoking a brown at the bottom that way you don't see it. But this has been helpful for preventing it that much to like sink in those lines. It's better than usual brands. I also like the Maybelline. I don't have it with me, but the it's like the red stick that kind of rolls up and has a little sponge on top. That one's really good too compared to a, a high-end concealer. That one works best too. It also doesn't uh, fill in, in your wrinkles. But if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment. Like I said, let me know what you guys prefer in brushes apply your foundation on. I will be posting a video um, every week, probably Tuesday and Thursday, that's the goal. If not every week there will be a video, but uh, let's see what happens, it's kind of going on again. I'll be collaborating with a lot of new people. I have a lot of friends that are down to collab with me and introduce themselves. Not even that, some people that you guys already may know are gonna be here um, on YouTube, so check it out, be on have subscribed for sure so that way you guys get feed on what's going on with me thank you so much to all my supporters by the way that have been there for me since day one that are still here riding and dying with me really means a lot to me um without you guys i would not be motivated to do this again so i really appreciate it any other advice videos that you guys want let me know this is the final look with the foundation i know i kind of looked like i was white earlier so i wanted to show you guys how it looked at the end i'm gonna go out for the day um, and see you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.